Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn your Raspberry Pi 3 into a personal cloud storage. I'll be installing OwnCloud 10 into a Raspberry Pi using Raspbian Stretch, which is the latest version of Raspbian. Before I start, I would like to thank Nosatech for sending me this Raspberry Pi to be able to create this video tutorial. You can find more information in the description box below as well as the, a link to my website so you can copy and paste all the necessary commands to be able to accomplish the task. To start, let's set up the Raspberry Pi for the own cloud server. Enter the following command. sudo space raspy dash config and hit enter. Here, let's change the user password. Type the password and then hit enter when you're done then retype the password and hit enter just because you don't see nothing being typed doesn't mean it's not being added select uh, localization options change locale and then press the down arrow key to select en us utf8 press the spacebar tab enter again down arrow tab enter. Once done, go to advanced options. Here, go to memory split and change from 64 to 16 megs. Select OK and now finish to reboot. Upon reboot, enter the following command sudo space su and hit enter. Let's do a system update so enter apt space update and apt space upgrade and hit enter. You'll be prompted if you want to continue uh, hit the Y key and enter. Now let's install LAMP server. I'm going to clear and enter the following command apt install Apache 2 and hit enter. Do you want to continue? Yes. Once done, enter the following command system ctl start apache 2 hit enter and then system ctl enable apache 2 and again press enter now let's verify the web server uh, all we need to do is type the ip address of the Raspberry Pi here in the search bar, you'll be prompted with this Apache 2 Debian default page. You notice in that red bar it says it works. That means Apache 2 was properly installed. Now let's install on cloud. But before, let's install some dependencies for on cloud to work properly. You can copy and paste this line of code from my website. Again, it's in the description box below. This can take quite some time. Once done, type cd forward slash tmp to go to that temp uh, directory. Now enter the following command to download OnCloud 10 zip file. Now let's extract that zip file by entering the following command. Now let's add proper permissions. So enter the following command.
Once done, let's move OnCloud to the HTML directory. Now let's configure the web server. So type nano forward slash etc forward slash apache2 forward slash site dash available forward slash oncloud.com and hit enter. Here, enter the following information. You can get it from my website. Then save by pressing Ctrl X, Y, Enter. Once done, create a sim link, entering the following command. Now, let's enable some modules. So type A2 en mod headers and hit enter you'll probably be prompted to restart so just copy the information there to restart and again for <clears throat> env so a2 en mod space env the same for dir and mime once done Let's add the uh, OnCloud database to Maria database. So enter MySQL space dash U space root space dash P, hit enter, and enter the Raspberry Pi password. Here, enter the following command to create the database. Create database OnCloud. Simple. Hit enter. And now, Let's create a user, so enter the following. Create a user on cloud at localhost. It can be something other than on cloud if you want. Identified by the password 12345. You can also change the password if you want. Now, let's add permissions. So grant all privileges on on cloud uh, database to on cloud user with the 12345 password. Remember, you can change the own cloud user here to something other than own cloud and the password to something other than one two three four five now if you change uh the own cloud user to something other than own cloud well you have to change the same information should go here and then this password information should go here in case you change it okay once done, hit enter, and then flush privileges by entering the following command. Just like it sounds, flush space privileges. Hit enter and exit. Now we can access our OnCloud instance <clears throat> in the browser. In the address bar, type http colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of the Raspberry Pi forward slash on cloud. Now create an admin account by entering the username and password. Then in the bottom database information, enter the on cloud, which is the user we created earlier, the password 12345, database name, which is on cloud as well. Very important. If you're planning on mounting an external hard drive for large capacity storage, do not click on Finish Setup. I'll show you in a bit how to mount that external hard drive, but you must not click on Finish Setup. If you're not planning on mounting an external hard drive, planning on using your SD card as your storage, then you're more than welcome to click on Finish Setup. If you haven't plugged in that external hard drive to the Raspberry Pi, this would be a good time. For those of you not using an external hard drive, you can click on Finish Setup. And done, you'll be prompted to re-enter the username and password. That's it. Now, for those of you mounting an external hard drive, I'll show you how to go about. 
in the SSH or terminal, type the following sudo apt get install ntfs 3g. Hit enter. Then sudo mkdir space forward slash media forward slash on cloud drive. We need to mount that external hard drive to that directory. Now we need the GID. So type id space dash g space dub 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 dash data and the UID. Type id space dash u space dub 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 dash data. Now we need the UUID of the hard drive you just plugged in. So type ls space dash l space forward slash dev forward slash disk forward slash by dash UUID. And here is that UUID. You can copy and paste it or write it down because we're going to need it to configure the FS tab. Now type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash FS tab. Hit enter and enter the following line. You can copy and paste this from my website. You don't have to type it. Now UUID equals and then you, the UUID of the hard drive. Space forward slash media forward slash on cloud drive space auto space no fail comma UID equals 33 GID equals 33 UMask equals 0027 DMask equals 0027 no A time 00, zero. you can copy this line from my website once done control X Y to save enter once done sudo space reboot to restart now we need to make sure that uh, our hard drive is mounted to that directory so enter the following command sudo space ls forward slash media forward slash on cloud drive before i plugged in the hard drive to the uh, raspberry pi it was plugged in into a windows computer i created a sample text <clears throat> so by running this command if i hit enter and that sample text come out that means it is properly mounted don't be surprised if nothing comes up that means that the hard drive is empty. There it is, so it's perfect, perfectly mounted. Then, when you go to the configuration, make sure that where this says data folder, you add the uh, mounted directory, which is forward slash media, forward slash on cloud drive, and then finish setup. Once you click on finish setup, you have successfully installed on cloud 10 on a Raspberry Pi running uh, Raspbian stretch with an external hard drive mounted for additional storage capacity. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you. If you want to access your Raspberry Pi on cloud from outside of the network using your tablet or mobile device as if you would when using Dropbox or OneDrive, you will need to enable SSL. SSL enables a secure connection to your Raspberry Pi. The link to enable SSL is in the description box below. Assuming you have enabled SSL, log in to your router and locate the WAN or external IP address. Write it down because we're going to need it for future configuration. Once you have written this information down, go back to the terminal or SSH and enter the following sudo space nano space forward slash var forward slash dub 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 forward slash on cloud forward slash config forward slash config dot php here locate under array the number zero with the uh, ip address and right underneath the zero enter one equals greater than single quote the wan ip address or external ip address single quote comma and to the right of overwrite.cli.url, replace the IP address with the WAN or external IP address, just like you see it here. Once done, save the file. Then go back to the router and locate the port forward section. Here, add a custom service. Name it, I'll name it on cloud, and use port 443, which is the SSL port, and manually enter the Raspberry IP address, or in this case, you can select it for one of the attached devices. Either way, make sure you have saved those changes. 
And now you can access your Raspberry Pi own cloud from anywhere in the world by entering https colon forward slash forward slash your WAN IP address forward slash own cloud. The same applies from your mobile and tablet. All you need to do is just download the app and enter the HTTP address with the username and password and you'll be syncing just like Dropbox or OneDrive. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.